Hey everybody, hope you're having a good day today. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to blend two different photos together in Affinity Photo. So yeah, without further ado, let's hop right into it. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do when combining two different pictures, you wanna make sure that the photos are taken at pretty close, if not the same angle, and kinda of have near the same shadow slash lighting. So as you can see in this picture right here, it's taking it's taken straight on. And with our other image that we're going to be using, this one is also taken straight on. So it's just gonna look a lot better and a lot easier to manipulate. So my overall plan for this is to get this woman right here and put her on the edge of this right here. So it looks like she's looking over into the little pool slash waterfall right here. So yeah, first thing we're gonna do is go over here and we're gonna crop this uh, lady out of this picture. To do that, all you need to do is go to the selection brush tool and then manipulate your brush size with the left and right uh, bracket keys. You don't want it too big because the uh, program will basically do most of the work for you and fill it in for you. I also have another video on how to cut objects out in Affinity Photo, so I'll link that up in the top right corner. And I'll be right back once I finish this up. Okay, so once you have your person or object selected, what you're going to want to do is go to Refine right here. And basically what this is going to do is just show you like kind of like a red border of your object and see how well cut out it's going to be. So as you can see, when we zoom in, it's, it's uh, kind of jagged and there seems to be a couple of little shadows and stray marks that I might not want in the image. So what we're going to do is click Apply. And a very easy way to fix this is going to select and then you're going to go to grow slash shrink. What this is going to do, it's going to either shrink the selected layer or make it grow. So as you can see, when I do that, bring it way down, the selected layer goes way down. And when you bring it way up, it expands it by however much you do it. But for this, we're going to go about negative three pixels just so we get a little bit in there and hit apply. Next thing we'll do is add a mask layer and that'll cut it out like so. And in order to make the uh, edges look a little softer, not so jagged and rough, like you cut it out with scissors or something, we're gonna go back to the select layer and we're gonna hit feather. And we're also just gonna hit uh, three pixels right here, just in the opposite direction and then hit apply. So this is gonna look much, much cleaner than before. Next thing we're gonna do right here is make sure all of these are selected and then hit Control C to copy. Go over to your other image and all you gotta do is Control V to paste. Now that we have our cropped image in the picture we wanted in, we're gonna place it in about the area we want. Um, as you can see, when we did crop this image, uh, her hand right here it's a little blurry because it wasn't like a nice HD image. And it's a lot easier to cut out an uh, image like this when you have a completely black, black or green background because the program will just automatically do it for you. So to kind of hide this right here, I'm just gonna go up here to arrange and I'm gonna flip it horizontal so we can hide that part of our arm. <laughs> Okay, so to get our lady right here to look a little bit better in the environment, look kind of fit in more, what we're gonna do is go to our background and we're gonna duplicate this. Then we go to our, uh, filters, blur, and then we're gonna hit average. It's gonna average both of, like the colors from the background image and put it into one. But we're gonna drag this up and put it into our person. So right now, she is just full of that color. So select that. Now we're gonna make sure the background is selected, the kind of green background right here. And then you're gonna go to your blend modes and you're gonna go to soft light. So already that looks a lot better than it used to. So if we toggle the visibility, this is our before and this is our after of doing that. She already fits into the environment way more, but there's a couple more touches that we're gonna make. So next thing we're gonna do is we're going to go down here and we're gonna add a curves adjustment. And we're gonna bring this down into our cropped image just so that it's only affecting 
uh, our lady right here. And when this, you kind of just got to play around with it yourself, uh, train your eye to kind of find the good, good point that you like that fits into the image well. So I'm kind of thinking this looks all right. So we'll go with that. And another thing that you can do is go back to your adjustments and we're going to go to color balance. So right here, um, basically you're just going to edit your colors and, uh, try to make her look or your image look as good as possible and kind of match the environment and scene. So we'll play with a little bit of the blue slash red and go to the extreme so you kind of see what the differences make. Um, but don't leave them at the extremes. So I'll add a little bit of cyan in here. Uh, maybe a little bit of green to make it fit in with there a little bit more. And then maybe go into the shadows and the highlights. Um, when you're doing shadows and highlights, it's gonna affect your image a lot more. So you don't have to go too crazy on these. Just do a little simple something. So yeah, once you find like the right color balance and whatnot, um, your image is going to kind of fit with the lighting and the rest of the image. So this is kind of our final product. Um, I just want to like preface that there's tons of other ways that you can do this, but this is just a really simple, quick way to do it. Um, I went ahead and duplicated uh, our original image here so I can show you what the uh, before was. This is our before when we brought it in. The lighting did not match the environment whatsoever. And then we toggle the visibility it looks way more natural and almost looks like she's taking getting her picture taken right there you can move this around to however you want but yeah that's basically it I, thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end i really appreciate it if you guys could just drop a like down below maybe comment something that you guys want to see from me next i'd really appreciate it so um you know what that's all i got for you guys today and i'll see you guys in the next one